Former U.S. President Donald Trump mixed the names of Presidents Joe Biden and Barack Obama during a campaign rally in New Hampshire on November 11. Trump was giving a speech in Claremont when he said he'll go off teleprompter and quoted an interview to Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban in which he was asked about the current situation in the Middle East and what should the U.S. president do. Trump said they were interviewing him two weeks ago and they said what would you advise President? Obama? Last month Trump also mixed Biden and Obama during a speech in Washington, while addressing his supporters Trump also pledged protection for veterans, ending conflicts in the Middle East and Ukraine, and avoiding a World War III. Trump is the leading contender for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination, and he likely will face U.S. President Joe Biden in a rematch of their 2020 contest. Russia respected him. North Korea respected him, and he used another word other than respect to, he said fear, but I don't want to use that word. If you look at what's going on right now in the Middle East and Ukraine, and you add it up, and we have somebody that has no clue what the hell is going on, you're going to end up in World War III because of this. No reason for it. Millions of people will die. To me, peace through strength is not just a political slogan, it's actually a moral duty. And it's my commitment to you, the American people, but you will not have World War III. You know, we were respected when I was president, we were respected by China. Before I even arrive at the Oval Office, shortly after we win the president, because it's we are going to win it, I'll have the horrible war between Russia and Ukraine settled, which should have never started. But I'll get it settled. I know them both very well. We're not respected anymore in the world. They laugh at us. They think this guy. And again, I would have never talked about him with this disrespect until they indicted me. Once they indicted me, I said, I mean, it can't happen. And they indicted me for nothing. They indicted me. They indicted me for criticizing the election. They indicted me for things. And virtually every legal scholar you read says, how can it happen? But you know what? The people get it. And that's why our poll numbers are high. I'm the only person in history that got indicted that saw about a 30% rise in my poll numbers. Usually, you know, we were doing fine before. Usually you get indicted. You're a politician. You get indicted. And about within five minutes, you're at a microphone. Uh, I've decided I will go home to my family and I will be with my family and I will fight for my name and my reputation. Okay, you know, all that. And that's the end. That's the last time you ever hear from the poor person. With me, it's like, I said, how are we doing? Sure, your poll numbers went up 14 points today. We love our veterans. We've got to take care of our veterans here. They're among our greatest people. Crooked Joe puts bureaucrats first and illegal aliens first. I will put veterans first and America first every single time. With you at my side, and you've been at my side from the beginning, we will demolish the deep state. We'll expel, we're going to expel those horrible, horrible warmongers from our government. They want to fight everybody. They want to kill people all over the place, places we've never heard about before, places that want to be left alone. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists, Marxists, fascists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. We will rout the fake news media until they become real. We will evict Joe Biden from the White House, and we will finish the job that we started better than anybody has ever started a job before. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you.